Not quite getting to the fall like feel just yet, but believe it or not, a few locations this morning were in the upper 50s. Macomb, Bogalusa, the lower humidity and our clear skies do allow our overnight and morning temperatures to get a bit cooler. The problem also, though, is that dry air warms more efficiently, so we warm up very quickly. And we did see low and even mid 90s across much of the central part of the nation. And that's one of the big problems. While we are waiting for kind of a change in the upper pattern to start bringing in the colder air, where is the colder air? Even southern and central Canada temperatures are in the 80s and upper 70s, even as you head farther into the northwestern territories. Not exactly a fall like feel for northern Canada. You have to go into Alaska and even into Russia, Siberia. That's where the colder air is. So even as the upper pattern starts to shift and we do have more of these upper troughs, we're not really grabbing onto any colder or even cooler air, milder air. Yes, but notice as the upper pattern changes, maybe, maybe as we head toward the end of next week, as we start into the end of the month and toward October, maybe the upper pattern starts to favor some cooler or even milder air coming south. Overall, though, the next 8 to 14 days, so this is putting us into early October, our temperature outlook is for us to stay likely above normal. That doesn't mean each and every day will be above normal, but overall, the next 8 to 14 days will stay above average. I'm looking for that cooler air too. It's just not quite on the radar just yet. 80s and low 90s outside at the moment. It's been a beautiful day and if you're in the shade, it doesn't feel too bad. Not much of a heat index at all with the lower humidity at only 50 degrees. So humidity at the moment is only a 24%. Today's high was 92, so we are staying above the average, but at least we're not talking records. Records this time of year can still get into the mid upper 90s and we're not looking at temperatures like that. One other benefit from the upper pattern changing is that it does help to bring in some drier air and while not the fall like feel the humidity values will stay fairly comfortable. There may be a little spike on Thursday with humidity staying on the low side even into the weekend. So have any outdoor plans the next several days and going into this weekend. Not much rain, which we could use surface high pressure keeping us very pleasant and that's the outlook for the next several days. Rain chances slim to none. We will begin to see more of an easterly and somewhat of a southeasterly wind in the coming days. Not exactly tapping into tropical moisture, but we will likely see a gradual increase in humidity and certainly by the middle to end of this week, we could see a stray shower or two but with the drier air in place. Rain chances look to be pretty slim. As far as the tropics go, we only have one named storm and that is Hurricane Nigel. Thankfully, this one is going to stay out over the open Atlantic. Thunderstorm development looks fairly healthy around the center and it is likely going to continue to intensify. Thankfully, staying well to the east of Bermuda. So this is not going to impact Bermuda and it looks as though it will stay out over the open waters, even heading toward this weekend, moving into the North Atlantic. So beyond Nigel, we have one area that we were actually hinting at late last week of potential development off the coast of, say, the Carolinas, Georgia and Florida. There's also another one a little bit maybe more pressing that'll be coming off of Africa, still over Africa right now with a high chance of developing. We won't see that little wave move over Africa until probably late Tuesday, Wednesday morning as it is south of the Cabo Verde Islands has a chance of some organization at that same time later this weekend of the weekend we could see something possibly tropical try and develop off the coast of Florida Georgia good news is upper troughing the upper pattern that we're under is going to drag that system very quickly northward likely is just a big rainmaker and then notice our system coming off of Africa by the middle of this week as we head toward the end of next week upper troughing over the central Atlantic would likely keep this one moving over over the open waters as well. And in that time frame, Gulf waters and the adjacent waters do look to stay quiet. Most of the long range model guidance keeps that area quiet through the end of the month. That puts us from October 1st to October 15th. We'll still need to watch the tropics closely and things can still happen, but I like the trend we're under 91 degrees. That low humidity will stay with us. A little bit more of a breeze from the east and southeast might help to increase that humidity a bit Thursday, possibly into Friday, but overall staying rather dry and hot, but less humid through early next week.